local weather with the KX Storm Team. It's Katie and Joe at Annie's House in Botno. Hey, Tom, how's the weather? Boy, it sure looked like they were having fun, at least when uh, there was snow on the ground with a snowmobile and everything. Uh, and thanks for doing that, hey, Tom. So if you want to record one yourself, email it to me, to me, and maybe we can get it on the air. I want to tell you about something going on in Dickinson. This will actually be on Monday. It's the first of the Skywarn training programs put on by the National Weather Service. You'll learn all about severe weather, how to keep the family safe, and it's free for the entire family. Take the kids because there's some really cool pictures and cool videos as well. Still have the flood watch in effect until Saturday uh, afternoon. We still have the flood warnings for the, some of the rivers because of the ice jams. Temperatures right now, 30s and 40s, mostly 40s. But certainly some 30s in the area. And uh, the wind hasn't been too much of an issue today, roughly 5 to 10 miles an hour. It is going to be a little bit stronger tomorrow, but uh, at least for today, really not that bad. Now, when we look at the satellite and radar, still have a storm system sitting off the Pacific coast right here. Sending rain into California, parts of Oregon, and it looks like a cluster of storms going through the uh, Midwest, kind of heading towards Illinois. But for the Northern Plains, and uh, most of the rest of the country, the weather's really not that bad right now. And I know for the past couple of days, I've been showing you some things with the upper atmosphere, and this will be the last one, at least this week. Different ways that, uh, of many of the different ways that we uh, use them. One of the things that when we're trying to figure out where storms are going to be is we look for things in the upper atmosphere. This is a big trough. It kind of comes down like this. This is all part of this big system up here. And when there's a trough, storms can develop and reside there and then move to the east. No different with this one. So by Monday, it looks like there's going to be a trough in the, in the upper atmosphere, a storm system off the Pacific coast, and this is going to start moving inland as early as Tuesday. Now, even if the center of the storm isn't on top of us, it sends around pieces of energy our way because the circulation's this way, and so by Tuesday, we could be possibly looking at a little bit of rain or snow, depending on the temperature and everything. This doesn't tell us that, but it just tells us that when there's a trough that we know that storms can reside there, and uh, this is two days in a row that has really shown up. And then on Wednesday, it looks like from what we're seeing, this center of the low will pass to our south, which puts us on the northern side of it, which is actually kind of a favorite area to get rain or snow. And again, that depends on the temperatures. The storm is, hasn't even developed yet, so we don't have any specifics on how cold it's going to be, how warm it's going to be, will it be rain or snow. It just hasn't even gotten that far yet because it's still out in the ocean. Uh, precision cast tonight or tonight into tomorrow morning might be a couple of snowflakes in the southern part of the state, and I'm talking about closer to South Dakota, it looks like, and maybe the cloud cover up to around I-94 or so. Now, tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening might be a couple of snowflakes off to the east, but notice these longer arrows. That means it's going to be kind of blustery tomorrow. So the temperatures may uh, warm up a little bit, but with that wind, it's just not going to be super pleasant to be outside unless you can stay out of the wind. Fog still possible, mainly south of I-94, mainly. Uh, this would be really light fog if it develops at all there. And uh, the... Uh, 72 hour planner for Dickinson. Temperatures remain in the 40s during the day, kind of bounce around a little bit at night. Not terribly cold in Williston. 40s it looks like and uh, you can see nighttime lows 20s and 30s and that's just for the next 72 hours. Tonight it looks like we'll have temperatures around 20 to 25 degrees most locations and the daytime highs tomorrow back into the 40s and maybe 50 degrees in a few spots. Here's a look at the next seven days and there it is there's that chance of rain or snow next week and Lauren and Chad the storm's just so far away we just don't have enough specifics yet. Okay. Gotcha. Well, we'll just enjoy these next few days. Though. Will do. Next in our five.